It's minus one degrees outside. It's freezing. It's so warm outside. <laughs> so between the $50 Beat Flex, the $150 Power Beats, and the $250 Power Beats Pro, which one is the best product for working out? Is the product that's gonna cost five times as much, this thing gonna be five times as better as the Beats Flex? Well, maybe, it could be, almost, or is it gonna be completely a big, great big gong show? Spoiler alert, almost. So for the rest of this review, we're gonna talk about the differences on paper, then we're gonna talk about the differences in terms of working out, and then we're gonna talk about the sound quality between them, and then give you our final recommendations. Roll the review. Now right off the bat, one of these things don't look like the other. The Power Beats are basically, well, the Power Beat Pros with neck wires, and the Flexes look something like a backwards yellow necklace. Now the first impression you may have about the Flex is that it's going to be terrible to haul around, but it does wrap up nicely and fits decently in a pocket. You won't get any pocket humps like you would with other buds. Now honestly, it was a nice change in pace not having to worry about losing a bud. If you needed to have one free ear and two free hands, all you had to do was just let the Flex dangle from your neck, something that you really can't do with the other bud headphones. Now controlling your music with every pair of Beats product is very, very similar on the Power Beats and Pro. You basically mash the B button to control your music or answer calls. On the smaller Flex, you push the button on the neck bump to do the same thing. Now while doing this video, I realized that you can scrub forward and backwards through a track by triple pressing on the function button on each one of the headphones. Now when it comes to pausing music, the flexes will stop playing when the buds clasp together magnetically. On the power beats, they just keep playing and the pros will stop playing once a bud comes out of one ear which is handy. When it comes to power, the Flexes will last 12 hours and is charged via USB-C cable. The Power Beats have the longest battery life out of the three at 15 hours. The Pros have nine hours in the buds and 24 hours in the case. The Power Beat and Pro charge via lightning cable and every product has a variation of fast fuel, which allows you to get about 90 minutes of playback with 10 minutes of charge. Now, as a side note, I did find that Apple's decision with the Flex to use USB-C as the charging method interesting because I thought Apple was moving away from the lightning cable, but they proved me wrong with the AirPod Maxes because that thing charges via lightning cable. So really, who knows? Also, the Flex, which was released later last year, has Apple's W1 chip, which is an upgrade to the H1 chips that you'd find on the earlier released Power Beat lineup. When it comes to environmental protection, the Power Beats and Pro are sweat and water resistant, whereas the Flexes are not, which may be a deal breaker for really wet people. And speaking of wet people, let's go work out with them. I did so before we talk about working out with these, um, I do want to point out that each set of headphones comes with an extra set of butts. Um, this won't really matter for the over ear ones because that kind of keeps them in place. But for the flex, it definitely helped. I had tried it the first time with just the ones they came with and it was horrible. They fell out every single time, but then I found the right size and that helped a lot with workouts. Now before we talk about all the sweaty things we've done with these headphones, I do have to point out that these Beat Flexes technically aren't workout headphones. You don't see anybody working out with them on the product web page. But the thing is, at 50 bucks, this is probably the best deal in terms of headphones on Apple's website. And if they do well outside of the gym and in the gym, like that's a steal of a deal. Now everything we're about to show you, we did with beanies or toques on, depending on where you're from, uh, as well as with hoodies and bunny hugs. You know, again, depending on where you're from and what you call these things. Now to test these headphones in the gym, we tested against simple movements like push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, lunges, skipping, running, and jumping. We tested against compound movements such as back and front squat, overhead squats, and various chest presses, deadlifts, shoulder press, as well as dynamic movements such as cleans, snatches, handstand push-ups. So that's how we tested all the products. I'm going to talk about the Flex, Val's going to talk about the Power Beats, and then I'm going to end it off with the Pros. So let's get started. Foggy glasses! Val gave this set of headphones a score of, uh, I think he gave it 17 out of 21. I gave it 15 out of 21. She had way more uh, success finding Ear, ear tips that fit her uh, than I did. My biggest concern with this product is that anything that comes into contact with the collar of the headphones, well, kind of jostles it around and might come loose. Doing cleans with the Flex is 
terrible because the headphones will get caught between the bar and your clavicle and that hurts when the bar crashes down you. To a lesser extent, front squats are going to be a hassle as you have to move the collar around so that, well, again, you don't crush your clavicle. But the thing is, if you don't do front squats and you don't do cleans, those annoyances aren't gonna matter. Now, the only other type of movement that the flexes fail a little bit involves, you know, simple body movements. For me personally, I could never find the right ear tip size to keep my buds in 100% of the time. So any sort of jumping movement would result in the flex coming on my ear slowly. Now, I know that Val managed to find a ear tip size that fit her and she didn't have any issues with the movements that I did. So really do keep that in mind if you buy these. So the Power Beats, which are these guys, uh, were actually pretty good um, during workouts. They're kind of annoying to put on. I'm not a huge fan of the over the ear headphones, but that does make them feel a lot more secure, um, more than the flex that keep falling out all the time. They feel pretty similar to the Powerbeats Pro, uh, just cause you are putting this around your ear and they don't fall out during workouts or anything. Um, I guess a plus would be if you need to take a headphone out to talk to somebody or something, you can just let it hang on your neck. And then both these and the Powerbeats Pro are very annoying to use with masks. <laughs> Every time you like put it over your ear and if you wanna take your mask off or you wanna take these off, one of the two gets tangled and it's just very annoying. So the wire for these isn't as long as the Flex, so it won't get caught if you're doing any um, bar movements where the bar lands on your shoulders or like your clavicle. It does kind of get in the way if you're doing a back squat. I did notice sometimes I'd have to adjust the cable just so that it doesn't get crushed between my back and the barbell. So when it comes to the best headphones for working out, it's these Powerbeats Pros. I have not come across anything outside, even outside of this video, any product that beats this set of headphones. Like, I don't have to worry about things falling out of my ears when I'm using the Powerbeat Pros. They are that good. Now, I did give it a, I didn't give it a perfect score. Out of 21, I gave it 20.5. And the only reason why I did that was because if you were working out with like a tight beanie, um, these things are gonna hurt. This is a really loose beanie, really loose toque. So I can get away working with my ears uh, covered and having the Powerbeats in them. But if I was to wear anything tighter, a minute or two or tops before I get annoyed with it. So that's really the only downside that I have with this product. Now, if you wanna see us take this set of headphones even further or the furthest that we could physically, do check out some of the earlier workout videos that we did uh, with this product when it first came out. And the last thing that I wanna to mention to you guys that Val uh, really liked was the fact that the controls for these headphones are basically the same as the controls for the uh, Studio Wireless 3. And so it's a small bonus, but if you've already got a set of those, then it's no brainer to get either the Power Beats or this one. If you don't like to change how you interact with your technology, we'll say. Now I will say that I don't usually work out with a uh, beanie or a toque, but this garage gym that we have is unheated. It's blistering cold and breathing in air that's like minus 15 degrees for, an, for hours on end just really hurts my lungs anyways. How about yours? Yeah, it hurts. It's terrible. <laughs> If you don't believe me, just go open your uh, freezer and just suck that air back for an hour at a time. <laughs> so we've mentioned in previous videos that sound quality isn't really that important um, when working out, at least from our perspective. Um, I don't think you're really gonna care about sound quality when you're blowing up your heart rate during a Tabata air bike or while doing long sets of double unders, rump bike, blah, 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 blah rump bumping. The only time sound quality might be important is while doing the world's most useless exercise, the bicep curl. So like we said before, um, the sound quality for these headphones isn't really gonna matter in the gym when you're going hard on a workout. The sound quality for all of these headphones is pretty good. If you're using them outside the gym, say in the office or just your day to day, you wouldn't notice the difference between them unless you had all three and you were comparing them like we are right now. And honestly, the difference between them is very little. In my opinion, the best sound quality would go to the Powerbeats Pro. It sounds a little fuller. Um, and then I think my least favorite would be the Flex. Um, and the only way I can really describe the sound of these is that it's a little more pitchy. It sounds pitchy. Um, but again, you're not gonna notice that unless you're switching back and forth between these two and kind of making that comparison. They all have pretty good sound quality, in my opinion. So at the end of the day, what's your, what's your pick? 
These guys. These I like pro. the Power Beats Pro the best. Why not over these guys? <laughs> I think uh, they're just way more comfortable. They sound the best out of the three and they don't get in the way at all. So these are the best for me. Now between these two products, I would honestly go with the Beats Flex. Like I am. <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is three times as cheap. This is 50 bucks. This is 150 bucks. Yeah, I guess that is true. So honestly, I, I'm so surprised by this product because it's 50 bucks and it comes with Apple's H1 chip or W1 chip, right? So that allows you to switch between all your devices incredibly easily. And at 50 bucks, not being able to do a clean or a front squat or having to deal with it come off your body every once in a while is something worth suffering through, we'll say. Um, but again, I agree with Val, I cannot, like these are by far the best headphones I've used at the gym, only because complete freedom from wires, it just works so well. But they do cost $250, which is a lot of money. And with this set, the set that we actually are showing you in this video, one of the buds died, so it was out of warranty. I had to pay an extra $150 to get that thing replaced. And so total cost to me for the Powerbeats Pro, it's like close to 500 bucks, which is, if I wasn't a reviewer, I don't know if I would shell it that much cash. So 50 bucks, for these, you get the benefit of Apple's W1 chip. Like it's almost a no brainer from my perspective anyway. So that's kind of all I got. Anything <laughs> else, Val? No, that's it. All right, first time watching my videos, subscribe, because we do awesome things like this. Stand out in the freaking cold to do videos. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> I want to go back inside. <laughs> it's so cold that Monty doesn't want to come outside. First time watching one of my videos, subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down there. Is there a specific set of headphones you want us to test in terms of working out? Let us know, and we'll see uh, if we can get one for testing. Or we'll just bite ourselves. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching.